everyone it's Elaine and welcome back to my channel and I'm sitting here in the pine cone cabin on what is a somewhat of an overcast day so I thought I'd pop in and show you these cards and when I was looking at them the other day I got them from my friend Pat that lives in Ohio and she told me I could borrow them and if I you know they might give me some ideas and everything so um I thought I'd share them with you because they have given me some ideas to do for our journals. So I'm going to kind of slide them here to the side and just do one at a time. Um this one is pretty cool because it's like a normal squared off card, but then they folded back some of it, not all of it, put a little trim around where the fold is. So I was thinking about our journals and even cards. You could do that with a page, kind of fold it back some, and that would then decorate or whatever. And you could even hide a little message or something up under there, not just the message on that side of the page. And then, of course, when you open it up, <clears throat> there is your, you know, your saying, your verbiage. And then what I thought was also pretty cool is, of course, you know, the flowers here carried on to the flowers inside. But do you remember flocking? I think that's what it's called. I have some somewhere in here. And it just comes in a little jar. And then you put glue down and you sprinkle it on it. And then it gives your stuff little fuzzies. And so that made me have a flashback to, you know, hey, I've got some flocking where I could add a little texture to something. You know, uh, for years now, I've been preaching it to y'all. Let's use what we have. I know some of the companies may not want to hear me say that. And I'm not telling you to quit buying altogether. <laughs> but we all have so much stuff. So let's use what we have. Anyway, so I thought that card was really unique and old timey. And you're going to see, um, well, you can kind of tell by the writing there. These cards are old. Um, this card, it says, created by Paramount, but stay tuned. All right, this card here is, looks like also someone has sat their coffee cup on top of it. How rude. Or maybe their teacup, because that is a little bitty bottom. I bet you it was a beautiful, fancy old teacup with a gold rim. Oh, I just noticed that. All right, well, anyway, so there it is. Looks like um a couple of orchids and... 1949 so this is just a normal kind of card um but the paper is really textured it's kind of linen-y um so that was in the stack that she gave me now this one look at him just look at him and look at that little dog there apparently was a button on there and read that wear this button wife and it's for the that she has been elected to the Better Half Club. How funny. Hold on a minute, everybody. Sissy wants to get up here with me. Oh, I'm not getting her. <laughs> oh, gosh. Sorry about that. Um, so anyway, if you hear some little noises, it's going to be her now. Um, but anyhow, so there apparently had been a button attached to it at one time. And then look at him inside. And it's so funny to me. I'm going to read this to you. The Better Half Club. This certifies that friend wife is a member for life. And I guess I really must admit she is the better half of it. Signed, Max. 1939. But wouldn't it be cool to do that? Like to make your own, like take a circle punch, make your own kind of little badge or little button and have it pop through either a card or your journal page. How cool would that be? And then even this way, if this was the other side to that page, it could then maybe show something that was on the page over here on the journal. So I just thought this was really cute. Um, this says Gibson, Cincinnati, USA. Looks like it was probably 15 cents for that card. And think about how much we pay for them today. But isn't that adorable? He just cracks me up. I can't help it. All right, the next one, um, again, anniversary greetings. Oh, let me say something to you, too. Um, Miss Pat gave me a bunch of letters 
Um, most of them are from him to the wife. Um, I don't know where hers are to him or even if she did write back to him so much. But I'm going to get into those one day. But these cards I've promised to give back to Miss Pat. So I need to share them with you because, um, you know, I won't keep having them. <clears throat> but this one I thought was pretty cool because look at the foiling that's behind that front page. And it just peeks out a little bit um, all throughout. And then the ribbon, just two simple holes, just like we would do in our journals. And then they tied off in a funny little kind of bow. It's like a, a one-sided bow. And of course the ribbons kind of got messed up over the years, but isn't, I think that ribbon is just beautiful. It's a beautiful shade of like between lilac and purple. And again, 1939, um, just great. Gibson Cincy, this one, this card actually cost 25 cents. All right. Now this one I thought was super cool. I just noticed something. I, I guess what's happening to me is I'm getting under all of this light. And I'm seeing things that I didn't see as I flipped through them the few times before. Um, this card I thought was really cool. They have scalloped the edge to the front, which you can do on a page to, you know, then to highlight a different color behind your page. But this is actually cloth, the apron. And I'm going to open it up and show you. It is that Swiss dot material. I can't say that I've seen any in recent years. I'm sure it's out there somewhere still. And then they kind of folded it a couple of times so that the at the um, apron would have, you know, a little bit more texture to it besides just the dots. But to me, that is the cutest. And what a great idea, you know, to cut out something or a shape, whatever, and then to add a little piece of fabric through it or behind it. I thought that was really cute. And the other thing about this card that I thought was, I don't know, sweet. It's to mother, but look how it is signed, boy. So I'm thinking that she was pregnant and Max, her husband, got her a card. How sweet. <laughs> it just cracks me up. I just, oh my heavens. And wait till you read some of the notes between the two of them when I share them. Oh my heavens. Well, now this one is pretty cool. Of course, the characters, we can tell they're old timey. But look at that. No, the old comment, ball and chain. So there they are. That's an actual chain, a real metal chain that has survived all these years. And it's, again, on their anniversary to a man and a gal. And so this is their friends, Elaine and Dick. Not this Elaine. I'm not that old. No, I'm not that old. But look at the pup and everything. So I don't know. This one, when I kind of looked at it, it's got the silver foiling. And when you look at it, the stars are punched out, which we could do that. And then the silver foiling behind it is then it shows through. And then the other thing that the foiling helps to do is to keep those chains, um, the ends where they've glued them in from coming through here. And I don't know if you can tell or not. I'm going to see if I can get it there, maybe right there a little bit. The paper, the, all the paper has a great shimmer to it. And um, so, I don't know, I thought that card was pretty cute, too. The cutouts, the chain, and everything. Um, I don't... Is that a flying shoe? What's that about? <laughs> Heavens. I don't know. Pretty funny, though. All right, now this card. A Father's Day message to you. What's unique about this one? Okay, so the paper, first of all, is... I don't know. It's not like a, a craft paper. It's definitely like a paper you would use in cards, but look at how what it looks like. Anyway, so it kind of opens a little funny. It opens up, and then, so let's read along. A Father's Day message to you. You flip it up. This comes to say over and over again, open it up. You're nicer and nicer. Uh, how do I open this one? Flip down each day flip over and here's wishing you more and more flip down luck and success flip open as you travel down life's happy way and i can't even probably get all of this on camera <clears throat> kind of sort of so this card is it keeps flipping and flipping and flipping and flipping 
So that is pretty cool. And let's see what the back of that card says. Uh, 15 cents. And this one says patent pending. And oh, look, it's a Hallmark card. And look at how they did Hallmark back in those days. So pretty cool there. I don't know that I have any paper big enough to do all those flips, though. And this I thought was just cute. It's just um like a to and from tag that was on something. But I'm going to read this to you. <clears throat> I thought I like the way this looks. It says, I send you some of the most wonderful whiskey that ever drove the skeleton from a feast or painted landscapes in the brain of man. It is the mingled souls of rye and corn. In it you will find the sunshine and the shadow that chased each other over the billowy fields, the breath of June, the carol of a lark, the dews of night, the wealth of summer and autumn's rich content, all golden with imprisoned light. Drink it and you will hear the voices of men and maidens singing the harvest home mingled with the laughter of children. Drink it and you will feel within your blood the starlit dawns, the dreamy, tawny dusks of many perfect days. For many years, this liquid joy has been within the happy stove, that's not stove, stays of oak, longing to touch the lips of men. Wow, huh? I don't know what liquor that was, but we all should have some. I don't quite know what to say. When I read that, I had to read it again. <laughs> oh, heavens. So, yeah, I wonder how old that is. All right. So, now this card opens up like this, and it, too, is not folded all the way down. So, I thought that would be cute for a card or you know, something that we put on one of our journal pages. And you can see the flowers kind of keep rolling, rolling. And this too has a little cutout. So the package that they're on is this shiny silver. So it's a, like a silver paper inside. <clears throat> and, you know, it's nothing really fancy inside. Don't know who patches. But it was just one little silver piece that they put in here. They didn't do the whole big silver piece like they had on some of the others. So I thought that was pretty cute. I just thought it was cute the way it folded. And I just love the cutouts with something behind them. That's just a good way, I think, for us to use some scrap pieces and make them pop on a page. You know, it's like, oh, what is that? Where did that come from? All right. And then this is the last one that I'm going to share with you. Um, <clears throat> this one I thought was really cute, not just because it's those same little adorable pups, but these all have little notes on them. Like that one says, five years married, all together now. Congratulations. And then when you open it up inside, there are three more notes. This one says, sweet music. Here's a grand piano concert for a grand and glorious pair. May you reach high notes of gladness and soft pedal every care. This is life is a song. And may you two continue to sing it together through all kinds of weather forever and ever. And then this one is seeing is believing. <clears throat> Does everyone who sees you as happy man and wife believes there's nothing better than good old merry life? Darn tootin'. But, you know, again, be something cute that we could do in our journals. Have a little, little message there, you know, along with some kind of picture or embellishment and then a little note. Um, and I, it, it's it struck me, too, that I don't think all the years I've been married that anyone has ever sent me an anniversary card. You know, my husband and I trade them, but, um, yeah, I, I, so I guess back in the day, you know, that was one of the things that people did. This was 25 cents. It says this card is copyrighted and it was by Rust Craft in Boston, USA. So anyhow, so that's the cards I just kind of wanted to share with you. And like I said, to see if uh, it would give us some ideas to do with our journals or if you're a card maker. So with that being said, I would like to ask you, you know, if you like what I did, please subscribe to my channel and give me that thumbs up. I also have a Facebook group and a Facebook page, Larkin Lane Creations. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. And of course, I have my own personal Facebook page. 
or group. Um, I'm on Pinterest, and you know, I have some pretty cool pins there. And um, it's called Larkin Lane Create. I couldn't do all the creations because they just give you so many spaces. Um, and then I also have a um, Etsy shop. So remember, I put up a video every Tuesday evening. And I uh, would appreciate, like I said, if you come on back and you behave out there and stay safe. And by all means, come back and I'll check you out in the next video. Bye.